It was a Monday morning. American Airlines Flight 115 from Honolulu. You okay? DFW Airport Gate D27. Very emotional day. Intensely emotional for Sheila Kirvin, her cousin Irma Flemings, and their uncle, Ulysses Cherry. A long time coming. A long time for someone to come home. It was the late 1940s. His name was R.B. Cherry, one of 16 Dallas brothers and sisters. But he wanted to see the world. You know, our dad told us that we had an uncle that went off to war and never came home. The Korean War. R.B. Cherry was just 19 years old when he became just a story to the nieces he would never get to see. I just always knew that he was missing in action and that was really all the information that I had. He just bring back old memory, man. You know, you hate Ulysses at 89 is the youngest and the only one left of those 16 brothers and sisters. Is today a good day or a difficult day? Difficult day. Difficult day. Yeah. They would brought back old memory. Because for 70 years he never knew what happened to his big brother until the defense POW MIA accounting agency more closely looked at remains repatriated to the National Memorial Cemetery of the Pacific in Hawaii, remains designated only as X134-60. Burial records, witness accounts, and DNA would finally prove that R.B. Cherry, a 19-year-old kid from Texas, died in a prisoner of war camp in Korea all those years ago. You can just relive the thing yourself inside of you knowing, oh my God, he actually went through something as horrific as that, you know, and that really, that's really painful to even consider and think about. A lot of pain, a lot of heartache for my uncle, but, um, yeah. you know, I'm just glad that he's still here to be able to know that his brother's finally coming home. Their story is one they wanted to share because from the Korean War alone, more than 7,000 families are still waiting for the same difficult answer on this same difficult kind of day. Whether I knew him or not, he was still family. That was my dad's brother. Mm -hmm. And to not know, you know, what happens to your family is kind of hard. It's hard at times, you know. It just, it just, I don't know. I don't know. So in these moments that happen dozens of times each year at DFW Airport, understand that there are families struggling with a mix of sadness, relief, and sometimes joy. It was just beautiful. Yeah, and my heart was just racing and so happy inside, but yet tears of joy, you know, that he made it home. One more lost son, brother, and uncle found after a very long journey home. In Dallas, I'm Kevin Reese.